Good morning, home builders. We are on day 72 of the gospel in us, and we are looking at uh, today the willing sacrifice out of John 10. Jesus says, As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Note this. I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might, bring, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down for, of myself, and I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Thomas Pigott, a uh, missionary uh, to China in 1869, he, uh, sorry, 79, he heads down to China to work with Hudson Taylor. And as he's there, he it really comes to a uh, realization of why he's there and what God is asking of his life. And in 1896, he writes this, how shall we look on the investment of our lives and labor here, even from the near standpoint of 100 years hence? I am, I can truly say, more grateful every day for the opportunity of serving Christ. And I believe this to be, on, to be the only true and sober view of life's realities. The work pressed home now will make all the difference a few years hence. He knows that he is giving his life on a daily basis for the Lord as the Lord laid down his. And the Boxer Rebellion comes about just soon after that, where many of the missionaries were expelled and he refused to leave and was actually executed for his faith. And the Lord asks us to ground ourselves in the word of God. Paul says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And when we think about this, the, the scripture we read at the big, very beginning, Jesus was not dragged to the cross. He willingly went to the cross. He had the ability to keep that from happening. But he says he laid down his life and he would pick his life back up. He was the one that chose to do that. Why? For you and for me, for our salvation. And now God asks us to follow in his example. He tells us there in 1 John, uh, John says, Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. So God asks us to continue to do exactly what Jesus Christ did, because we're supposed to be in Christ's, in Christ's image, and we're supposed to follow his example. Now, that's a tough one. And that is one that only comes through prayer and dedication uh, to his word. And as the Lord transforms our heart, that we would serve him on a daily basis. So we see today, because of what Jesus willingly gave for you, be willing to sacrifice for him and for others. That's not something that just happens the day you become a Christian. That's something that we have to learn and that as our as our heart grows toward the Lord, that we become more like him and we see each day becoming more like him. We set this example of being more and more willing to sacrifice uh, the way we should with our lives. That's some tough sledding right there to think about and pray about. So I encourage you to do that today. And I love you guys. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Have a good day.